What is up guys, it's Heartless Gamer here coming with you to another Atlas video. Today, this is going to be a two-part video. One, I'm going to be showing you how to make a taming pen. And two, I'm going to be showing you how to tame a bear and talking about like the different steps and requirements of taming and trying to hope that you get a better understanding of how to tame in Atlas as well. Um, and we're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need foundations. Uh, I prefer 3x3, three three, so that's about 9 foundations, but make a couple extra because why not in case you mess up or misplace stuff. As well as you're going to need walls, uh, any walls. I'm doing this one out of wood, but you could do it out of thatch if you want to, about 30 walls, just in case you break stuff and, and whatnot. Um, you're also going to need a, like a gateway. Uh, metal me medium gateway, not metal, medium gateway. And that's pretty much going to be it. And uh, uh, I apologize. And a couple ceilings for uh, ramps. So basically what I'm doing here is building a 3x3. Three three. I did mess up, so I kind of cut that part out of the video as well as I did run out of material because I did kind of misplace some stuff. As I am learning the mechanics of this game myself, uh, the building mechanics is similar to Conan where you can stack foundations if you have played that game before, so I just want to keep that in mind. I did not know that as much because I haven't done much building. I did build a taming pen, but it was kind of um, flat surface, the first one I built. So that's kind of why it was like, oh, hey, on a hill, I didn't know it worked this way. But as you can see here, I made the 3x3, three three, and I did run out of wood, so I kind of went back there and got some wood, and that pretty much completes our 3x3. Three so the next step here is you got you pretty much want to pick the best side of where you want to have the ramp and don't put your uh, doorways there uh, three stacks high. So the reason why you need so many is because I would prefer three stacks high because when you are um, luring stuff in, sometimes they could fly over the two high. So that just kind of keeps you safe there with that. And that's pretty much it for that part. Um, so here I'm placing the, the uh, wooden doorways all the way around. About three high. Uh, leave the one side open wherever you want to put the dino uh, doorway. Just so that way you can place it there. And I show here just the first level. And then later in the video you'll see I put three up there. I just wanted to kind of tell you that right now. Just so you guys know why I didn't put that up there yet. It's just kind of, you know, going through the mix of things. And just making sure everything's correct before you go too advanced into it. And then realize, oh, hey, I got to tear this all down. So that's kind of why I did, built it that way. And that's how I would recommend how you guys do it. Kind of build it similarly how I'm doing it. So just to recap, you need nine foundations, uh, possibly 12, just to give you some extra. And it's going to be three all the way around for the first level. And the two sides will be uh, three high by three wide. The front side where the ramps are going to be, kind of like how I'm building now, are going to be just three lower ones, so three first row. So 9, 18, 21 is what you'll need. And then here I put two other foundations just to get a better snap point for the ramp. As is, it's kind of hard. Uh, I did get a couple snap points before, but they weren't sticking correctly how I wanted them to. So I just go ahead and put another foundation out front and go ahead and just put another wall uh, like I have here. And then you can actually demolish it. Uh, and you'll see I do that shortly. And then just, just so it's an easier snap point for you guys. See how much easier that was than versus me trying to mess around with trying to get the correct snap point. And that's pretty much what you have to do to build a ramp. Uh, I was confused because when you go and look to build a ramp, it's not called a ramp. But you just hit a ceiling and then you just click over to the right one. And I kind of like it that way. I think it's cool and interesting. And then there you go. You pretty much destroy it. And that's pretty much all it is for building the taming pen. I built a couple different ones, but this is the one I like the best. Uh, when I go ahead and tame this bear next, it's not in this specific pen. So I just want to keep that in mind for you guys. And here it is, three high by three wide. Just building them three high. But uh, going back, I don't use this specific taming pen because I tamed this bear previously and just kind of mi mix it into the video because I did want to get the video out there for you guys. And I hope you understand as well as I figured that the two kind of go together between the taming pen and how to breed and what to look for in breeding. Or, I'm sorry, not breeding, taming. I apologize. It's the same uh, sk skill tree. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, here it is. Here is a pretty decently good uh, taming pen. You can kind of shoot through each side or whatnot. You can kind of lure them. You have that door so when you do uh, end up taming that your your tame or whatever animal, you just walk it out like that through the other door. 
And yep, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna move on to the next step here. And this is pretty much how to tame a bear. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much not just talk about taming a bear, but I'm also gonna talk about just like some of the other stuff. So in order to tame anything, you need to have a tier two uh, for like a bear per se, and then tier three would be bigger teams like uh, your elephants, your rhinos, your giraffes, and as such. So you need to have the correct tier in order to tame the right thing. Also, I recommend getting your fertility up as it takes less food and pretty much quicker to tame stuff and have sneak unlocked. It's like sneak one and two, and it goes up to three. I use two for this. It kind of makes it less likely for you uh, to be like almost heard by a downed uh, team and such. So after you have all those, you also need a boa. Uh, I would cover like 20 bolas per bear in case you miss and mess up and sometimes it doesn't work right. Um, and then after that, go ahead and get the damage down on the team to 20%. So that way you have uh, the health lowered enough. So that way you can knock out the team. Now I recommend using either uh, a gun for the first shot, just to get it kind of down halfway and then uh, but not shooting in the head, shoot the body, just in case you overkill it. And then using a uh, pike or a sword. Sword does more damage than a pike, so I would recommend definitely using a pike as your best bet. And then if you're like really close into the red range, just so you don't want to kill it, go ahead and pull out a pick or a tool. Just go ahead and give it a couple clicks, and then you'll have it bullet and knocked out like this. And then you're ready for the food. So as far as food goes, for a bear, it's the, the kibble per se, like you would call it an arc, would be honey, which kind of makes sense for a bear. Honey and bear, it, it kind of goes together. Uh, certain ones are certain vegetables, or they'll ask for like a certain certain thing. Some of them are like beets, certain vegetables like carrots and stuff like that. Um, that's their like main kibble, the quickest way to tame them. So uh, for most of these type of tames, uh, vegetables are the best option, and it's the grown vegetables that you make. That's your best option for this. Being that it takes less time and better when you go ahead and tame it. And it seems like you get, you get the two times taming every weekend, so that might not be an issue as much. But yeah, that's that's your best bet. You can use berries. It's just not as efficient. Um, however, I do recommend, I forgot to uh, say, I would have some beds at your taming pen just in case you die. Because they can still knock you and or eat you, I guess you could say when you're trying to feed the food, and it's a 20, about 20 second intervals for most of the tames, at least the bears anyway, are about 20 second intervals to feed them, and the food has to be last lot in your inventory to do so. Once you are done with that, you pretty much gotta get to 100% like anything else, and that's how you kinda get things done. And that's pretty much gonna be it, you have your bear tamed, um, other videos that I might do is talk about breeding and breeding mechanics, other mechanics in the game, different skill trees. So just want to keep that in mind that there are certain skill trees for certain things. If you haven't watched my previous tip video, you should go ahead and check that out. I do give some information for basic starters, just to give a, a better understanding of how the game works and some of the little things in the game that I've come along the way after playing for like a day or two, some of my tips and stuff like that. But I definitely would say the bear is the best starter team for anybody looking to get a, a good solid ground in the game. Um, rhinos are good for stone and elephants are good for wood. So that's kind of my little resource there. Uh, best thing for metal is your pickaxe. There's no team for that, unfortunately. So that's my little scoop on um, a couple different things for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and drop a like subscribe be much appreciated for you guys also drop a comment in the comment section below introduce yourself i'd love to know who you guys are as always go ahead and also hit that notification bell button so that way you never forget and miss a video especially for atlas because you know let's be honest there's not a lot of good videos out there and that's why i'm making this one for you guys just to hope you guys get a better understanding of the game and as such so again guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you guys next time i'm heartless gamer i'm out of here bye